section four three has to do with congruent triangles. Um, one triangle has congruent angles on the other triangle, and one triangle has congruent sides on the other triangle. So in other words, they match. So if I have a congruency statement that says triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF, that means I have two matching triangles. And I can assume by the congruency statement, if I make this one ABC, then I can go, this one's D, E, F, and by this congruency statement, I know angle A is congruent to angle D, okay, because they both come first. Angle B, because that's the second one, is congruent to angle E, and angle C, which is the third one, would be congruent to angle F over here. I also know <coughs> that AB would be congruent to DE, BC would be congruent to EF, and AD would be congruent to DF. So you, you see that they match, like if this has three slash marks, the line over here with three slash marks means that it's congruent to that. So you could write six congruency statements out of this. Angle A is congruent to angle D. Angle B is congruent to angle E. Angle C is congruent to angle F. And AB is congruent to DE. BC is congruent to EF. And CA is congruent to FD. So those are the congruency statements that you could make out of that original congruency statement. Okay. So there's a part in this section that talks about that congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent. <coughs> so if they tell me this statement, S-T-U-W-X-Y, I know that for every angle on this, there has to be a congruent angle over here. So that has to be congruent with that. That has to be congruent with that. And this has to be congruent with that. Because it says congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So you can make all of those assumptions. All right, um, congruency triangles with transformations. If you remember in um, algebra, you talked about different transformations on a coordinate plane. A reflection, you would either reflect it over the x or the y axis. Sometimes you did y is equal to x or y is equal to negative x. Literally, it just takes the same triangle and it just flips it over. Okay, if I could draw it accurately, it would be the exact same size. So these two triangles would be congruent, and that would be a flip or a reflection transformation. This is a rotation where I literally just take this and rotate it or turn it. They are the same size, so that has congruency to it. A translation, it's like you just cut it out and slide it. Again, the triangles are the same size. The one that does not have a congruency is a dilation. A dilation is when you either shrink it or expand it. So if I had this triangle <coughs> and I wanted to expand it, it becomes that triangle and those two are not congruent. So the congruency stands for a reflection, a translation, a rotation, but it does not stand with a dilation. Okay, so if we put this on a coordinate plane, notice that we have triangle RST, and we now down here have 
R, R prime, S prime, and T prime. So we have to verify that these two triangles are indeed um, congruent. So I would need to use my distance formula in my calculator to find the distance between R and S. So I have uh, negative 3, oops, okay, negative 3, 1, and S would be 0, 5, and that is 5, and I want to check it between S prime and R prime, so that would be 3, 0, and, neg and 0, negative 5, okay, I feel like something, I feel like I didn't put that in there right. Hold on. Okay, it should come out with the exact same thing. I must have, okay. So 3, 0, and 0, negative 5. I get 5.8 right there. So this one must have been approximately that. Go back and redo that one. So negative 3, 0, and 0, 5. Oh, okay, this one should be 5.82. Okay, then between the S and the T, <coughs> I have 0, 5, and I have 1, 1, which is going to give me 4.1. So between these two, it's going to give me 3, 0, and negative 1, negative 1, and I'm going to get 4.1 there. And then I need to do between R and T, so I have negative 3, 0, and 1, 1. It's going to give me 4.1 there as well. And uh, between the R and the T, I've got 4.1 there. Let me check right here. So I've got uh, negative 1, negative 1, and I have 0, negative 5, and 4.1 there. So you can see that these have the same sides, and so I verified by using the distance formula that these two triangles are congruent. Triangle RST is congruent to triangle R prime S prime and T prime. Then the name of congruency transformation, if you look at this, this is a rotation. I don't just slide it, I don't flip it, I don't enlarge it or shrink it, I am actually turning it. So it that's called a rotation, or in some books it's just called a turn. Okay, I think we used rotation in ours. Alright, your homework on this is page 195 through 196, 9 through 18 all, and 22 and 23.